Hey guys, T-Rex back again and today we've got an extra special video. We've got two unreleased dinosaurs that are in the game and also we've got to open our T-Rex event crates. Of course, we were in the top league which means we're going to get the two legendary crates as you can see. The six epic crates, six rare and five uh, normal crates or well, common. We don't care about all that, we care about legendary ones. So let's get opening and we can open them. Right now, we're going to open one after the other. We need Triceratops. We need like four Triceratops DNA or two. And four Spinosaurus DNA. So hopefully we get one of those. <gasps> we got two We got two Spinosaurus. So we're close. Five T-Rex. We unlocked the T-Rex in the last video. No, not the last one. The one before last. Which was super cool. Super exciting. But we're closer to Spinosaurus. Now let's open our second one. And hopefully get either Triceratops or Spinosaurus. Come on. We're going to unlock one of them if we do. Come on. Fingers crossed, guys. Yes, I think we just unlocked two brand new legendaries, which means we've got all the legendaries in the game except for Ankylosaurus and the ones you can't even unlock right now. But that's pretty cool. Let's see. Come on. Show me the good stuff. Show me the dinosaurs. What have we unlocked? Come on. What's it going to show first? Come on. Show me Triceratops, my favorite. Yes, there we go. It's Triceratops, my favorite dinosaur. Love this dinosaur and I'm so happy we've unlocked it. And I can't wait to level it up and rank it up, of course. Continue. And our second one, of course, it's Spinosaurus. And I know a lot of you guys love Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is such a cool dinosaur. It's very interesting, very unique. I do prefer T-Rex. I did, I do wish the T-Rex beat the, the Spinosaurus, but I know there's a lot of Spinosaurus fans and I can't, can't, I can't say too much of a bad thing about it. It's cool, it's very unique. And obviously I've unlocked it, so that's good to see. So there you go, we're gonna delete that. We don't need to look at that anymore. Let's look at the dinosaurs. So they're currently our worst dinosaurs in the legendary stats, but we're going to level them up and see how they are. There you go. So Triceratops, 1,900, so it's going to be one of our best ones. Ooh, Triceratops family has been leveled up. Very nice. Let's continue. We've got some rare crate keys as well. Level 16. And Spinosaurus, come on. Let's get that to level 10. And there you go. Level 14 Baryonyx family. It's weird it's Baryonyx and not Spinosaurus, as Spinosaurus is the legendary. And there you go, so it's the top of the, well, it's joint with Dilophosaurus. And higher than Blue, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Stigmalok. But only by one or two um, power, which is kind of weird. It's weird they're not all the same power, but it is what it is. And that's pretty cool. So, Triceratops, what does it get? It applies pushback on hit. Well, I mean, this is Triceratops. Did I say Stegosaurus? I mean Triceratops. Fang Force. Stamina and the damage, which is nice, and eventually we get a couple of cool things like 50% damage to shield enemies, that's pretty nice. 75% chance of slow, which is pretty cool. And destroy destroying objects sends out shockwaves. Ooh, that'll be cool to see. So when it runs over, let's say a building or something, it'll send out a shockwave. Let's see what this does. Apply panic, so it's like a T-Rex where it does the panic where the enemies run around, but that's pretty cool. Uh, killing an enemy grants 50% more damage and remaining life uh, for the remaining lifetime, so it gets damage boosts and 10% stamina, which is actually pretty cool as well. And it's good against Kozlov. So we've unlocked them. Let's check out the brand new crates. So there's two crates. I'm gonna play an animation in the background. The first crate is um, a handler bonus. From the looks of it, it's got the guns and the emblem of like a badge. So I'm pretty sure this is for Handler um, XP and the supplies you need to level up the Handler abilities, I'll show you quickly. So these, if, I assume that's what this one's for and that's cool, but sadly at the end of it, it just shows nothing, which is kind of a shame. And the second crate, to show you guys, looks like a Dinosaur XP crate. I'm not entirely sure what this gives you, I assume it's just Dinosaur XP. I, don't, I didn't record this one, I just took some screenshots, it was pretty cool. And sadly, you don't get anything in it, which is a big shame. But that's pretty cool. I mean, two new crates. Excited to see that in the game when they eventually come. And the next one is missions. It looks like eventually they're going to be giving you legendary DNA. So it looks like one DNA for each of the generic legendaries. So Ankylosaurus, T-Rex, Minosaurus, Triceratops, Stiggy Moloch. And I'm probably missing one. Stegosaurus? Yeah, I think that's all of them. And you need to use the new rare Metriacanthosaurus at rank 6. I think that's Metriacanthosaurus, which is actually mad. And we're not going to get that anytime soon. And I think the game's kind of broken. Well, it, the game is broken. It's been broken for a while. But I don't think it's supposed to be showing this because there's no possible way of getting it realistically. 
And I've got another one of these, which actually is showing a brand new dinosaur that's not in the game, and probably a brand new family, which is actually pretty cool. So it's Pelicomimus. It looks like a common because it's grey, but it's not really, you can't really tell. This is what Pelicomimus, Pelicomimus kind of looks like. I think it's in one of the other games, but I'm pretty sure Jurassic World Alive made it a hybrid. I don't really know. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played Alive. And yeah, that's pretty cool. What are they going to do? I hope they come in like a group and they all run around and like attack enemies and just go mad. That will be pretty cool. Cause distract or something. In this family, I reckon the legendary is going to be Gallimimus. I reckon we're going to get um, Ornithomimus probably and Struthiomimus. Some brand new dinosaurs, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And it will be cool to see more dinosaurs in that family. We've also got, um, well... Another surprise, Enigmasau Enigmosaurus, which is an epic dinosaur because it's purple. This is what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty similar to um, Ferrazinosaurus, maybe a bit thicker in this picture, but I mean, it's hard to say. They've also shown off Ferrazinosaurus in the trailer not too long ago. That's super cool. Super excited to see that. So now um, we've got some new dinosaurs. It shows off an attack where it swipes its hands. So that's pretty cool. Maybe a new family. Well, it's definitely a new family, and it's cool to see Ferrocinosaurus finally coming to the game. Hopefully soon, but we'll have to wait and see. And hopefully it's a legendary. And I reckon some other dinosaurs are going to be Dinotaurus and Erlikosaurus, similar to Jurassic World Alive and the game and all that. And yeah, pretty excited. Pretty cool to see. And hopefully we get some new dinosaurs very soon. New families. Very exciting. And hopefully we get those legendary dinosaurs that we still can't unlock at the bottom. And obviously the the rares and the epics that we still can't unlock. Are there any new events? So we can see Polycanthus. We've got that event which is brand new. Let's do that. Let's do that. While we're here we might as well. So what do we need? Zungaripterus, Draco, Venator and let's use one of the new dinosaurs. Yes, let's use Spinosaurus. I will use Steg uh, Triceratops after, my favourite dinosaur, but I think a lot of you guys probably want to see Spinosaurus. I know you guys like Spinosaurus. And it will just be cool to see. So let's quickly go through this complete the first two missions and then we'll open some more crates I think. So we're gonna sp spawn the Spinosaurus in. Pretty cool. Come on Spino, do some work. There you go. A lot of biting over there. I should really focus on the game. <laughs> I'm just stuck in the corner watching the st her Spinosaurus do its damage. But, I mean that's pretty cool. A couple of bites. Very interesting, very nice looking and um, I, want, it, I think it looks like the Jurassic Park 3 one. But, um, to be honest, the Camp Cretaceous one looks fairly similar in my eyes. I know a lot of people think it's the same one, but honestly, I have no clue. It's hard to tell. It looks slightly different, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I never really got into... Well, I, I like the first couple of seasons of Camp Cretaceous, but the last two, they've just been boring for me. There's some cool stuff in the latest series, the season, but I haven't finished it, so, I mean, I'm not 100% sure what happens. I saw a bit of Dodgson which was cool. Him and the, I think he got the Barbasaur can and that new dinosaur, well, not dinosaur, I don't even know what it is. The Nathosaurus or something? I'm probably butchering that name. Can't remember exactly what it's called. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty exciting to see. And of course, we've got the Spinosaurus, that's in it. I'm Yeah, that was in this season as well because obviously it's on Manticore Island or Manticore or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Anyway, let's keep going. Hopefully, uh, not too bad. Zungaripterus is dropping rocks. I've always thought these uh, flying pterosaurs are so weird. The way they have either fire barrels, rocks. Some of them can drop heals as well. Tranodon and I think it's Aerotitan drop heals at a certain rank. I'm not entirely sure if Aerotitan does, but I know I think it's Tranodon does it at rank 6, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Anyway, we're at the end. It's cool to see some Spinosaurus action doing some like triple bites. Why is this guy just like... I can't even hit it. Oh, there you go. It's cool. Um, I think it's a text called um, more or something. I, don't, I can't remember. Or maybe that's the T-Rex one. I don't really remember. But it's doing its job. Snapping at the um, bad guys. Have we finished now? Can we finish? Nope. There's um, an enemy over here. Great. And we get it. <laughs> can't reach it. But it's all good. The flying Zungaripterus. I think it's Zungaripterus. Managed to get it, so I'm pretty happy about that. And let's see if we can do another mission with Triceratops, and if not, we'll just do a random mission because I really don't care about Polycampus right this moment. Well, I've already unlocked it. I unlocked it a while ago when they used to do, um, well, when they did the missions a while ago. Because they're repeating a lot of them, which is kind of a shame. Oh yeah, let's get the uh, Triceratops. There we go. So we've got the dinosaurs and Triceratops. Finally, see my favorite dinosaur in the game. And obviously, 
as I mentioned earlier, the two new families, it seems like it's going to probably be a Gallimimus family and a Ferrazinosaurus family. Tell me which one of those you're more excited for. Probably, personally, just Ferrazinosaurus because it's cooler, it's got those massive claws. Oh, there you go, Triceratops running through with that sound from um, Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World where it runs through the camp. I'm pretty sure that's the like the noise it made. It sounds familiar, I'm pretty sure that's what it's from. And anyway, pretty cool, pretty excited to see that. It does what it, me it needs to do, it runs through buildings, knocks things down. I mean, that's Triceratops' job in this game. And I think Triceratops is actually pretty good in this game. It's definitely one of my favorite families. That T-Rex, even though the T-Rex is a bit slow, I've noticed recently, I think those are my two favourite families in the game anyway, let's keep going, get these crates. Well not crates, crate keys. Oh yeah, that reminds me, you can open some uh, Polo Campus. Almost called it Pelicomimus, which is one of the new dinosaurs coming. But yeah, Polo Campus crates at the end of this video, let's keep going. Come on, oh we got dodge, 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 dodge of course. Where is this guy? Yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good, there's nothing to worry about. There's a lot of high-pitched noises, <laughs> don't like that. I think it's when the snipers aim at you, that, what, that's what that noise is. I usually play the game on mute, so I don't even hear these noises. <laughs> but, cool blimey is that noise, very high-pitched, where it goes <laughs> Anyway, let's keep going. Ah, oh, damn it, can my Triceratops do something? These missions are definitely feel harder than the main game, just because they force you to use certain dinosaurs. And those dinosaurs aren't very good most of the time. Like, realistically, I'm never going to use... I can't even remember what this is. Is it Draco Venator and uh, Zungaripterus? I would never use these normally, because like they're just commons. I want to use those legendary and epic dinosaurs, because they really do the job. At the moment, anyway. I reckon eventually, one day, they'll probably do um, something higher than legendaries. Similar to Jurassic World Alive and um, Jurassic World The Game, eventually they'll do, like, mythics or super legendaries or apex or something anyway we've done that mission let's go on to um opening the crates yeah let's collect let's make sure we collect the crate keys i think there's one we need to collect from the first mission completing the first mission so we've got two three six currently so hopefully we have about 70 from this this gives us 100 we can't complain about that so let's open the three while we're here polycanthus crate one hopefully they release the new um other new Ankylosaurid tomorrow. I'm hoping for that, but I don't know if we're going to get it. Maybe I'll check the... Um, oh, we've got a couple of decent DNA for that. But what is it called again? It's called... Um, where is it? Sauropelta, that's it. Sauropelta with the massive head. It looks like a spade. <laughs> Pretty funny. But yeah, um, let's quickly look at the calendar. Not that one. Uh, this one. Is there any dinosaurs coming tomorrow? It doesn't say... Oh, maybe we won't get it, which is a bit of a shame. We can collect our DNA while we're here for leveling up and unlocking some new dinosaurs. What's in here? What does it want us to do in here? Oh, we've got some epic crates. Yeah, let's quickly end this episode on opening some epic crates. Maybe we'll get some Ankylosaurus DNA to uh, hopefully eventually unlock that one. I don't know why that one's so far behind the rest. I mean... It is my least favourite dinosaur type in this game, so probably that's why, but it's a shame. We're going to open epic ones anyway, because they definitely give you either epic or legendary. I can't complain with either of those. Ranking up my epics is not really something I want to do at the moment. I'm trying to um, just save as much money, but... I mean, if we need to use them every now and then, I don't I can't complain I use them, they're good. And anyway, let's see what our last crate's going to have. Free epic DNA, Baryonyx, um... What is that? I can't even remember. Hyungasaurus and Allosaurus, of course. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, guys. Let me know in the comments, would you prefer the new Pelicomimus or the Ferrazinosaurus or an uh, Enigmosaurus or something like that? Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.